Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Chat Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for those of you that like to hack Snapchat. So the phantom tweak that a lot of you guys know from the jailbreak is actually now available for your iOS device running iOS 11. So currently there are no jailbreaks for iOS 11, so don't believe anyone that says there are. iOS 11 just got dropped. There are no jailbreaks yet for it. But with that in mind, uh, if you guys do want to hack Snapchat, you guys can use Phantom right now. So you don't need a jailbreak for this, obviously, uh, and it's pretty simple. It's not as easy as just clicking a link and installing a profile on your phone, uh, which is actually pretty risky these days. Let's go over how to actually do this. Now, I haven't done it on my phone just yet uh, because the process is just one that I don't like that much, but a lot of you guys I know like it. So let's get right into this. The first thing that you have to do is uninstall the App Store version of Snapchat that you have on your phone, the legit one, get rid of it, uh, make sure it's entirely uninstalled, and and then you have to download the modified Snapchat IPA from here. And what you'll do is you will uh, download that onto your computer, preferably a Mac in this case. Uh, but it does say you can use Xcode or Cydia Impactor to sideload the modified Snapchat IPA onto your iOS 11 device without needing a jailbreak. So uh, just pop it in the Xcode or Cydia Impactor and let it install onto your device. That's pretty much all you have to do. And once that's on there, uh, you are pretty much set and good to go. Now, Phantom has a ton of different mods and stuff that you guys can do with your pictures. You can spoof your location. You can watch people's stuff without them ever knowing uh, and stuff like that. So it's a very powerful application. Uh, Snapchat hates it, I think, uh, because they always block it or find a way to ban it. Uh, but this way seems pretty easy. Uh, now it does say Xcode or City Impactor. I know in the past, sometimes you've had to use both. That doesn't appear to be the case for this one. Uh, it looks like Xcode or City Impactor. I haven't done this yet. If you guys want to see me uh, do this install uh, on one of my iPhones, uh, just hit this video with a big thumbs up, subscribe and drop a comment down below so that I know hit that little bell icon so you guys get notified obviously if I drop that video if you guys want to see it so that's pretty much all I got for this video guys again uh, use this at your own risk uh, side loading applications can be risky uh, but a lot of you guys probably want phantom so if you do this is uh, probably the best way to do it at least right now probably the only way to do it right now uh, and this is Redmond Pies tutorial so uh, again I haven't done it yet but if you guys want to see that in the future uh, just drop a comment down below and let me know uh, but yeah, if you guys want a link to this article, I will drop that in the description of the video so you guys can click on that and read through this for yourself and decide if you want to do it. Uh, it looks pretty simple and straightforward. I know a lot of you guys don't have Macs, so you would have to use Cydia Impactor instead of Xcode, but either way, it would probably work the same. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. I've got tons more iPhone X, iPhone 10, whatever, and iPhone 8 and iOS 11 coverage coming up for you guys. Uh, and of course, I'm keeping you in the loop with all the coolest Snapchat tweaks. So hit this video with a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.